Today, we are diving deep into the latest offering from Samsung, the Galaxy F55. This mid-range phone has been making waves with its promise of a flagship-like experience without the flagship-like price tag. So let's find out if it lives up to the hype. First impressions matter and Samsung seems to have nailed it with the Galaxy A55's design. Say goodbye to plastic, the A55 boasts a metal frame and Gorilla Glass Victus Plus on both front and rear panels, providing superior durability and a premium feel. It also offers enhanced protection against drops and scratches, surpassing even the Galaxy S23 FE in durability. The flat metal frame and key island design add to the aesthetics, offering a comfortable grip and tactile button experience. However, the bezels around the display remain a drawback, making the device larger than necessary. Moving on to the display, the Galaxy F55 sports a 6.6-inch Super AMOLED panel with HDR10 Plus support. While the size and resolution remain similar to its predecessor, the A55 impresses with its vivid colors and excellent brightness. Testing has revealed that the Galaxy F55 even brings some improvements that aren't being highlighted by Samsung. For example, while the A55 has a marketed maximum display brightness of 1000 nits like the A54, it can reach upwards of 1600 nits in high brightness mode, 200 nits more than the A54 and around 150 nits higher than even the Galaxy S23 FE. On the audio front, the absence of a 3.5 mm headphone jack may disappoint some users, but the stereo speaker setup delivers decent sound quality for everyday use. However, it could use a bit more bass and refinement at higher volumes. Now let's talk about the camera. Equipped with a 50 megapixel primary rear camera and a 32 megapixel front-facing camera, the Galaxy F55 offers respectable performance in well-lit conditions. Nighttime photography sees improvements with better noise reduction, but the ultra-wide and macro cameras fall short in low-light scenarios. Unlike previous phones in the lineup, the Galaxy A55 supports electronic stabilization in 4K 30fps video recording, which has garnered some attention from those who love capturing videos while on the move. It's compelling, especially for those seeking a high-quality smartphone experience without the flagship price. So should you consider the Samsung Galaxy A55 as your next mid-range smartphone? Absolutely. With its premium design, commendable performance, and impressive battery life, the A55 offers a compelling package at its price point. While there are areas for improvement such as camera enhancements and faster charging capabilities, the overall experience provided by the Galaxy F55 makes it a worthy contender in the mid-range segment. And that wraps up our review of the Samsung Galaxy A55 5G. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech content. Until next time, peace out. As we all know, the Samsung Galaxy A55 5G is releasing, so let's talk about it. If you have already watched this video, you can skip this part. The much-anticipated Galaxy A55 is on the horizon, and we have got all the details you need. Samsung's Galaxy A50 series has been a standout in the smartphone market, particularly for its impressive features at an attractive price point. Following the success of the Galaxy A54, Samsung is gearing up for the release of its successor, the Galaxy A55. Let's delve into everything we currently know about this eagerly awaited device. Going by historical patterns, Samsung typically unveils its Galaxy A-series phones towards the end of the first quarter, so we can anticipate the Galaxy F55 to hit the stage around March 2024, following the release schedule of its predecessors. Shifting gears to variants in pricing, Bluetooth side data hints at three Galaxy A55 models. SM A556 b SMA 556E and SMA 556E underscore DS. The SMA 556B seems tailored for Europe, while the others may target Asian markets. While exact pricing details are scarce if we consider past generations, the Galaxy F54 at £449 slash $449, the Galaxy F53 at £399 slash $449, and the Galaxy F52 at £399 slash $499. It's reasonable to expect the Galaxy A55 to stay below the £500 slash $500 mark. Design. Leaped renders showcase the Galaxy A55 in three captivating colors. Awesome ice blue, awesome lilac, and awesome navy. Inspired by the A54, it features the key island design with a subtly raised frame around the power and volume keys, confirming a sleek metal build. The phone has rounded corners, a protruding rear camera array, and a flat display with a noticeable bezel and a punch hole for the selfie camera. Expected dimensions, 161.1 x 77.3, 
8.2 millimeters, 6.3 x 3.0, 0.32 inches display. Now, turning our attention to the display. While exact details on the Galaxy A55's display specs remain uncertain, if Samsung continues with the A54's display, users can expect satisfaction. Speculations point towards a 6.5 inch flat display featuring a centered Infinity O front camera. Anticipated specifications include full HD plus resolution and a refresh rate of up to 120 Hz. Given the A54's impressive display, any enhancements in this area will surely elevate the overall user experience. Performance. Now let's talk about performance. The Galaxy F55 continues the series evolution, moving from the criticized Exynos 1280 to the improved Exynos 1380 in the A54. Now it's rumored to feature the latest Exynos 1480, a promising upgrade. According to Geekbench 6 results, this new Soak is expected to be paired with an unconventional GPU choice, the Eclipse 530 based on AMD's RDNA2 architecture. While the CPU improvements may not be groundbreaking, the shift in GPU could potentially enable the A55 to support ray tracing in games, although this feature is yet to be confirmed. The A55 prototype scored 1127 in the single-core test and 3090 in the multi-core test, surpassing the A54 by a slight margin. The device is expected to retain 8GB of RAM, maintaining a balance between performance and efficiency. Cameras. Shifting our focus to the camera setup, rumors suggest that the Galaxy F55 might not bring significant changes in this department. The Galaxy Club report suggests no major changes, but that's not necessarily bad news. The F54 delivered impressive photos for its price. While the rear camera setup seems consistent, unfortunately, there's no news on any front camera updates. If the leaks are accurate, the Galaxy F55 might continue to use the same 32 megapixel front camera sensor as its predecessor, the Galaxy F54. While the A54's front camera delivers decent performance, some users may have hoped for an upgrade given the iterative nature of smartphone releases. Battery and charging. Now onto the Galaxy A55's battery and charging. TUV Rhineland certification reveals 25 helium fast charging with 9V and 2.55 as support. The 3C certification reinforces Samsung's dedication to fast charging in mid-range phones. While exact battery details are limited, we anticipate reliable 5,000 mAh cell for extended usage. Network and connectivity. Moving on to network and connectivity, the Bluetooth SIG certification reveals that the Galaxy F55 will sport Bluetooth 5.3, matching the capabilities of its predecessor, the A54. Consistent connectivity ensures a smooth user experience, especially with wireless accessories. Software. Last but certainly not least, let's talk about the software. The Galaxy F55 is gearing up for launch with Android 14 and Samsung's One UI 6, promising a seamless and user-friendly experience. This combo suggests exciting enhancements to Samsung's ecosystem. Plus, users can anticipate robust software support with the possibility of receiving four major Android updates throughout the device's lifespan. Stay tuned for those latest Android advancements.